Coach Badly on. Tell you what, good win tonight for you guys. Pretty yep. dominant. Um, I liked what I saw on the mat at 165 right out of the gate. Yep. I'll tell you what, Chad Walsh, one of the toughest, scrappiest guys in the country. Yep, toughest dude. He's a great leader, just a great person. Comes from a great family. It was just probably one of our best recruits we ever had at Ryder University. So he's looking to make history. First three-time All-American, maybe first NCAA champ. Not maybe, he's, he's getting it done. Well, it's like everybody, they've got these three guys, these three-tiered guys they've got. Obviously, they put Vincenzo Joseph as the number yep. one guy. He is the defending champ. Yep. We got to give him that. Yep. Okay, and then, obviously, IMR. Yep. And then Massa. Yep. Right? Those are the, and then, and then eh, whoever else. I think right, right now. Fadden, maybe, maybe yeah. Walsh, right? I think but if Walsh. Fourth. He was fourth. Walsh was fourth. He's ahead of, actually, Massa and the coach yep. was And third that, in right? Intermat. So, I think, I think if Chad finishes out the year undefeated, I think they'll go Big Ten champ, Big Ten run up, one and two seed, and then Chad be the third seed if he finishes out undefeated. So. I asked him if he cared what side of the bracket he was on. It he's like, he honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nah, he wrestled Joseph. He he had him beat at the Keystone. He rides him. There's 21 seconds left. He rides him out. He wins. Joseph ended up getting out, and Chad took a low shot and got pancaked. So he was 21 seconds away from beating Joseph, and Imar he had him in the. Merkel and didn't get no bag. Was that so. last year at Midlands? Yep. With Imar? Yep. Last that was actually year. a good match. Great like match. 8-6, eight, 8-5? Eight, eight, yeah, 8-5, eight, and Chad could have, it was a questionable call for uh, back points in a Merkel, so. Coach Angie just gave you some of the highest praise I've ever heard. He says he thinks he has the best coaching staff in the country. Uh, you know, you're a two-time All-American. Yep. At, at our alma mater, Kent yep. State, where Kent we State. have matching, matching pictures. Yeah. You know, pictures of us matching shirts on. But, you know, you, you are a competitor. Yep. You know, you're six and eight. Yep. But a lot of people want, ah, oh, this guy's won three NCAA titles. They think that there's a direct correlation between how good you are at wrestling, how good you are at coaching. Nah, I don't. I mean, I think I'm hungry. Like, every day I go into the room, I'm, I'm doing everything. We're doing everything we can as a coaching staff to get our first NCAA champ. And with my attitude, work ethic, and Kilgore's attitude, work ethic, Coach Hange's work ethic and attitude, it's just all meshes together. And, I think we built a great coaching staff. You got uh, Dylan Alton from Penn State. You got Coach Nace, who's in the room twice a week. Uh, he's our, our Bronx Wrestling Club. He was a All American at Ryder too. He was a he's a great guy and gets after it with the guys. He's in his 40s and Alton's awesome young guy. Gets with BJ and Chad a lot and our middleweight. So our guys are hungry. You're excited all the time. Every time I see it, it's like wherever Nick Badley on is, it's the place to be. Yeah. Well, I, Not like the cool kid, just like the happy kid. Always, yeah, always happy. I mean, especially when we're winning. Yeah, you're more happy when you're winning. But uh, we have a fun team. We have a lot of seniors in our group. Uh, this is It's fun for me, too, because I, Coach Angie and I recruited these guys. This is probably my first. When I first went in, uh, we had our first group come through. But this was my first recruiting class. Recruiting guys like BJ, recruiting guys like Chad, recruiting those guys uh, work. So I got to build a relationship with them, and it was it was a fun time. So this is I've been at Ryder now for six years. So wow, six seems years. like the other day you were dumping paint in my eyeball. Yeah, dumping paint on the ladder. <laughs> we had to, we had to flush my eye with paint <laughs> or with, with water. It's a real thing because you wouldn't climb the ladder. But you're kind of mad. But when you look at bringing Dustin in, you're obviously instrumental in that. Yep. There's no question about it. Yep. Everybody loves. Dustin. Yeah. Dustin's a hard worker. He scraps. He scraps yep. up every day. Yeah, no, I reached out to Kilgore and this was uh, last summer I reached out to him. I knew he was getting ready to be done with uh, his uh, freestyle career, so his international career, and reached out to him and uh, he was all on board. He said he would love that and we got him on campus. He loved the small school atmosphere and uh, he was in from meeting Coach Angie. I mean, there's no better guy than Coach Angie. Just a Awesome person, awesome, awesome guy, and I'm sure you got to see that in his interview. But uh, also, too, me and Dylan Alton grew up 20 minutes from each other, 30 minutes. So uh, we reached out to him this summer to be our volunteer assistant coach. He comes. You grew up on the other side of the holler. We're in the same district. Oh, same holler. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. Two hollers over. Two of them, maybe. Two of them. <laughs> two of them. Okay. So okay. he, I was in the Valley. He was Central Mountain, same district. Okay. So him and I wrestled like a thousand times when we were little kids. You ever meet him? They used to crunch you, didn't they? No, I used to beat him all the time. Then he beat me like, he beat me uh, 
like twice maybe and I remember my dad was so mad so we stopped wrestling yeah he was he was uh, crazy wrestling dad okay the Gary Taylor transition you came yep. in under the only coach you've ever known as a head coach is Gary Taylor yeah now you got the hands you transition what's it been like for you Nah, coach Taylor's an awesome guy he he him and I spent a lot of late evenings in the office talking and just about the transition talking about coach Taylor I mean the dude had 440 some career wins at it a small school of Ryder University with less than 5,000 students. I think that's amazing. And Coach Angie, he's like a family to me. I spend a lot of time with him, with his family, his wife, his kids, and build an awesome relationship with them. And it's more than just he's my boss. It's more of it's family for, for me and him. So. All right. You guys got dinner to go get. You got anything else for me? Nah, it's just a fun year for our guys. We got a good amount of seniors in our lineup but we got some young guys coming in great recruiting class already coming in and maybe some secret weapons still so we'll be ready i'll stay tuned thanks for the time nick good yep. luck to you guys on sunday against yep. thanks Ed.